Hi, and welcome to Nick Whale Motorhomes. I'm Andy, and today I'd like to show you around this Wild Axe Pulsar Mark II. With a length of only 5.41 metres and a width of 2.27 metres, it's 0.41 metres longer than its predecessor. Does it make a difference? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. What it does do, though, is to uniform it with the vast amount of other manufacturers whose most compact units are 5.41 metres. It can still be stored on your driveway at home, cutting out the need for expensive storage charges, and it can still be used as a day-to-day -day vehicle. It's based on a 2.2 litre Fiat Ducato with 140 brake horsepower and a nine-speed automatic gearbox. This is a great little motorhome with a footprint not much longer than an estate car that really can be used every day, but with a great amount of living space as well. When we look around the exterior of the Pulsar Mark II, you can see how well specced it is. We have an awning, an awning light, electric habitation step, a spare wheel, gas barbecue point, reverse camera, alloy wheels, plus it also benefits from an underslung 25 litre LPG gas tank. Now this vehicle has the LPG tank, but going forward this is an option that's being removed. Personally, I'm a fan of the underslung tank, but I know it's not for everyone. It really comes down to personal preference. If all that is not enough for you though, it also has something that you don't find on many van conversions, two habitation doors. This is great as it really doesn't matter which side you're parked up as it gives you access from both areas. This is fantastic when you're on site. Also, if we consider the roof, we have a solar panel, TV aerial, and Wi-Fi aerial. That's impressive in such a compact space. In the cab, we have driver and passenger airbags, full cab blinds, steering wheel controls, a DAB Bluetooth media center, a reversing camera, cruise control, and cab climate control air conditioning, to mention just a few of the options. Also, both captain seats swivel and are height adjustable. Now, this helps to maximize the whole of the modest 5.41 meter footprint. Above the cab in the main habitation door, we have the 12 volt control panel and the unit for the Wi-Fi system. The Pulsar Mark II has a very spacious lounge area. Now, as you can see in this guise, you'll sit four people comfortably. And as you saw in the last scene, what we can also do with this bench is we can make it into a nice big bench seat with a backrest. But what we're gonna concentrate on now is beds because what this van offers that a lot don't is that it can give you two singles or it can give you a large double. So how we do that is we have these handles just here. So we literally pull that and then we're gonna slide this bench forward. That just slots into there and we're gonna do exactly the same on the opposite side. So again, handle there, slide it forward. And that pops in. Now, as I said, the backrest of the one on this side, which makes up the bench, has got a hard back. Now that means that all you need to then do is slot this into the center. And there you have your double bed. Now, if we're working with two singles, if we move this one out of the way, it does come with two extra cushions. And all we literally need to do is to slot these on top of the benches. Now, as you can see, when that's across like that, it then utilizes the driver's seat and the passenger seat because it gives you a lot more leg room. Hence the reason you can use it as two singles and not transverse. If we do the same on the opposite side. And there you have it. Two genuine single beds in a 5.41 meter van. It's incredible, really. In the kitchen, we have an electric compressor fridge, a good slab of work surface, and the control panel for the Truma gas and electric heating and hot water system. There's also a sink, a gas oven and grill combi, plus three gas hobs. There's also plenty of storage space above and below. On the opposite side, we have a good sized wardrobe. It really is surprising how much you can fit into such a compact space without it feeling too compact. But you have to say, Wild Axe have managed it without too many issues. In the washroom, we have a cassette toilet, wash basin, a shower, a mirror, two storage cabinets, 
and a skylight above. The Wild Axe Pulsar comes packed with features. It really is a fantastic little all-rounder. This model has a TV aerial, Wi-Fi, a DAB Bluetooth media centre, a reverse camera and a gas barbecue point. Add this to the fact that it comes with an awning, solar panel, alloy wheels, an oven and an underslung gas tank and you're left wondering how they pack it all in. The real beauty of this van conversion though is the fact that you can drive it on a standard driver's licence so there's no need for a C1. Also, because it's not much different in size to an estate car, you can take it pretty much anywhere and get to the places that larger motorhomes would struggle to get to. This is great if you're still working but like to make the most of your weekends, or if you enjoy getting to those out of the way places. This motorhome really can be used every day. You could even use it to go and do your shopping if you so wished. For a full list of features on this model, please refer to the specification list on our website at nickwhale.com or why not give us a call and come and see it for yourselves. It really is worth a view and we look forward to hearing from you soon.